yo, what is up, you guys? So, in this video, I'm going to talk about workflow, and I kind of like doing these workflow videos. I think they're some of my best videos, um, just in terms of uh, helping you guys out, because uh, it's really cool when I do sound design stuff and remakes of popular sounds and random massive and silent patches. Those are great, but sound design is a trend, you know? What's cool this year isn't going to be cool next year, or it's just going to be overdone next year, or whatever, so... Sound design is a very small part of the creative process, and a big part of it is workflow. So workflow is the one thing that kind of stays the same. Sound design always changes, but workflow, the kind of setup that you have for yourself and the way you work, that will probably stay the same. So a big workflow tip is to save and change your default template. So the default template is basically when you open up Logic, or Ableton right away, there's a, a session that opens up. It's just a blank session and there's nothing in there. Um, so I didn't know if you guys knew this, but if you go uh, preferences, I've been doing this for a long time in Logic and all that. And Ableton, sometimes I change it or clear it out. Um, but basically right here in file folder, so right here in preferences, uh, you basically can go to save current set as default. So that's the one I have right here. So as you can see, it's untitled. I just opened up Ableton, and this is what it opened up. So this is my default template for Ableton. So every time I open up Ableton, this is what I see right away. And then, you know, I can go work on the other s stuff I have or whatever. Or if I just want to work on something new, I just go to new life set, and then I get a new blank uh, session. So it's not a big deal if I don't want to open up to this. But there's benefits to doing this and um, I know one big artist who does stuff like this and it's kind of the first person I've ever heard of doing things like this because I've been making templates for myself since like I don't know 09 or something like that in Logic so uh, a big Logic guy actually Morgan Page so if you've ever seen Future Music Magazine's channel on YouTube uh, Morgan Page does this video I, don't, I think it's from like around 2012 or something like that uh, where he just talks about his default templates and, you know, you know the template he has for himself to just write songs in and things like that. So I really recommend watching that. I'll find the video on YouTube. I'll link it down below. But basically, it's kind of what I'm trying to tell you guys to do. It's a big help to your workflow because you're going to have premixed groups and premixed tracks ready to go. And if you take out samples and add in new ones, you know, you're adding it into tracks that's already where it's already going to fit in with everything else as opposed to having to set it up and mix it in with everything else. And speaking of setup, you save a lot of setup time, guys. You know, you know how long it takes for me to set up my just the basic session before I even get to the creative stuff. It takes quite a while, even with racks ready to go, because I like to have my master, uh, my master chain a certain way, and I like to have. Uh, you know, everything in my session routed through sends and stuff. So, you know, I can do quick uh, bus compression to everything or uh, filtering to the overall track. So I like to have a lot of s sends and things like that ready to go. This is just a basic version where everything is going to the same send. But sometimes I'll have different templates where for some reason I like to have, you know, in that month or whatever of my workflow, I like to have different types of production styles. So I do change my default template from time to time, but what I'm trying to say is you save so much setup time because if I was just to go into a new session and start adding in all the routing as I'm going, because every time I add something new, I have to route it to the send and make sure the groups uh, you know, are done a different way. So with sends like this, I have to make sure all these are going to the group and then make sure that. So it's a lot of things that it's a lot of setup basically that just eats a lot of time it's just technical stuff that i that we all sort of do i i mean i'm speaking for myself when about this kind of stuff but you know i we all do our own different type of workflows that that takes a lot of setup time and we just we shouldn't have to do that over and over and over we can save a default template so that way we can just come in and uh, you know switch out the things we want and keep the things we we like to have and things like that so uh, where was I going with that? So, you know, the setup time just on, you know, getting the groups ready and things like that, that takes too long for me. And, uh, you know, there's also additional things of like how I like my groups to be mixed inside those layers. So, 
you know, if I want to change the key to my track, I'll change it up here, F minor, I'll write it in there, and then I'll know to, you know, take out all the, the, the samples that are tuned to G and then start replacing them with samples that are tuned to F, or whatever, I could retune them, it doesn't matter. So like my kicks group, like I know this is my hard layer, this is my clean layer, this is my attack layer, um, and this is my white noise layer. So for kicks, um, I just basically just go my samples that I have, and then I'll just start you know, layering in the ones I want, and if I was to do that in a new session, I would have to take extra time to, you know, change the processing on the group, and, you know, you know, I'd have to start mixing those in together, and things like that, and then the routing to the sends, and all that shit, it's just a lot of setup time, it's completely a, a waste of time, you know, for me, I've done that stuff a million times, I'm not gonna forget it, it's carved into my brain from doing it millions of times. So, for the love of God, it just helps me get to the creative process. Skip all the boring stuff that I've done a million times. You know, setting up new sessions. Uh, let's just get to the good stuff. So, I also like to keep a lot of instruments and things like that. So, I like to have some ready-to-go uh, layers of super solos ready to go. So, these are already layered together. Filters ready to go on this. I'll have the... Sorry, I had to burp. I'll have compression ready to go, I'll have side chaining ready to go, I'll have a little bit of mid side, the way I like it, you know, on certain things. I'll have a drops group, so basically, you know, this will have different processing from this group. It'll be the way I like it. And, you know, even if I want to change out the, the preset or make a new one or even change out the synth itself with a different one, I still have, you know, my MIDI effects and my mid side and compression on the groups and a little bits of reverb that I like to have on certain types of leads. I'll have all that stuff ready to go. So it's just a really quick way to change shit out. Uh, you know, your intention should just be to get to the creative stuff right away, you know, without setup time. So setup times, you know, I, I, I can say for myself it takes, that's probably sometimes the longest thing. Because I've, I've, I don't know, I've written songs in like under an hour, you know, with certain templates that I've set up for myself. So... Uh, that's just an idea of like how long it, how much time I could save. You know, sometimes setting up those templates, you know, takes like twenty to thirty hours. You know, obviously not in one sit down, but you know, you know, tweaking it throughout a week or something like that. You know, getting it to sound right. You know, that takes about twenty to thirty hours, and especially when you're adding in new groups and new layers and new instruments. You know, to fit it all together and just kind of rough out all the the edges it that stuff takes a long time so if you have a template made for yourself and that's what you open up every time ready to go dude you'll just be knocking out songs like crazy so i really recommend doing this i'll try to link down that video i was talking about at the beginning so you guys could find it i really recommend you guys try it out i'm i really think these workflow type of things change you know the way you work and you know, for better or for worse, you'll know if you like it, and if you don't, it's okay, you can go back to the way you do things, I, I don't know. So anyways, thanks guys for watching, and late.